Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Gravity Rush. Uh, last time, <laughs> we became a maid <laughs> for a rather unpleasant, uh, lady. But, truth be told, we're getting paid, so I don't think we can complain too much. Huh? Where's Ajin? Hello? That little girl's crying. I wonder what happened. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, why are you crying? I dropped the money I needed for mommy's medicine. She's real sick and it's all my fault she won't get better. Oh, well, I've got some money. Here, take it. You need it more than I do. Really? You'd do that for me? Thank you, miss. Thank you, lady. And they've returned just in time. Great. Oi! I'm guessing by that outfit you got the job. How much money did you get did you pull down today? Well, I got the job and I put in I and I put in a good day's work. But there was this girl and she was crying, so What? You gave her the money? What about us? Yeah, what about us? You like giving money to sad little kids? How about I start crying for you? <laughs> Oh, for the love of... Who I help with my hard-earned money is my business. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Why don't you two get a job? Ooh, she's got a point there. <laughs> my first day as a maid was over. Melda was a tough mistress, uh, but and the job wasn't easy. But the feeling of accomplishment when I held that first paycheck in my hand was undeniable. Who would have guessed that my new job and my association with Melda would drop me right in the middle of a scandal? But that's another story for another time. My, rep my reputation seems to be improving. Oh, wait, hold on. Is I forgot. Does that... Oh, no, we can go do it. We can start it more. Okay. We're going to just continue this thread. Um, Just so it's not kind of disjointed. I mean, we, <laughs> we're getting sidetracked for the main story for a while. But, you know, that happens. It's better to forget about one thing than forget about multiple things back to back. Begin the side mission. The events that followed took place after I was accepted as a maid into Melda's surface. Uh, I was still penniless, but excuses wouldn't put a roof over Ajun and Yuji's head. I thought it would be easier to earn the money they needed than to try and convince them the house incident wasn't my fault. So I headed to Melda's mansion and right into trouble. Great! Oh. That's the police, isn't it? That's a concern. Uh, wait, wasn't that the police? What were they doing outside the mansion? Well, I better hurry up. My day to be late on my second day. Oi, Shifter. Oh, no. What do you want? Hey, I need to talk to you. What? Is it about your house again? I don't have time for this. I need to get to work. Uh, no, it's not about the house. It's... Well, it's about Melda. Did you hear? Hear what? I just found out myself. But her husband vanished. She filed a missing person report. What? Really? Is that what the police were here about? The police? I guess the rumors are true. She really offed the old guy. Oh, she's a smart one. Filing a report to make it look like she's worried. Uh, whenever those two were together, they were always fighting. I guess she finally had enough. Wh what? You think she killed her husband? Uh, she might be a little rough around the edges, but she's no killer. She was even starting to be nice to me. She's really sweet once you get to know her. I think. Well, rumors are just rumors. Without proof, she's the only one who, who knows she killed her husband. I just figured I'd warn you. I don't need warning. Melda wouldn't hurt anyone. Anyway, I need to get to work. I still have to change into my uniform. Transformation, go! <laughs> Ta-da-da-da! Hello! Good morning, madam. It's me, Cat, and I'm ready to work. 
<sighs> fine, fine, get to work then. I'm in a bad mood. Huh? She's even grumpier than usual today. I'm sorry to hear that, madam. Can I get you something to drink? A drink? Do I look like I need a drink? I need to go. Get out of my way. But, but what am I supposed to do while you're gone? I'm sorry, madam. You, you must have a lot on your mind with your husband. And what do you know of my husband? I see that look. You think I did it too? Oh, just go home. Huh? I didn't... Leave. I'll manage on my own. I don't need anyone. What did I do? Y y yes, madam. I'll be leaving then. I guess I get the day off. Something about this is bugging me, though. The madam and the shifter. Da, 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 da. Melda's angry, even for Melda. Hey, where's she going? She's not going to be happy if she spots me. I better keep my distance. I need to get closer. Oh, what is it? Keep your distance or get closer? Which is it? I should probably not be so obvious. She's going through the tunnel. She stopped. What is she doing? Did she throw something over the edge? Oh dear. You were hiding evidence? Melda? I don't want to believe you did it, but you're being suspicious. Gotta sneak around, gotta sneak around, da 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 no. Gotta sneak around, gotta sneak around. Gotta sneak around <laughs> and throw perils all around. <laughs> oh my. Oh no! We got caught! <laughs> But I was on the wall, way up above her. How dare you? Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead to along further along the path, so that way we don't have to watch this whole thing again. What is she doing? I see you, Melda. My target is locked on. What, what is she doing? What was that all about? It was very weird. Melda, hail, Melda held, hailed a cab. Where's she going now? That looks like Melda. Hey, you. Are you the new maid at Melda's place? Why is she so interested? Uh, yes, that's me. Can I help you? My niece worked for that witch. Got worked to the bone and then fired for her trouble. Melda came into the world mean and she'll leave it mean. Well, she can be a little difficult sometimes. I wouldn't know anything about that. Humph. <laughs> her, her husband got tired of that attitude and gave her a piece of his mind. I bet that's why she whacked him. What? Uh, you shouldn't believe everything you hear. She wouldn't do that. I don't think. I know someone saw, who saw her coming out of that fishy two-bit fortune teller's place. Wonder what that was all about. She probably left to go cover up the evidence before the police got to it. What a woman. Hiding evidence. Meeting fortune tellers. Really, she's not like that. 
to follow the cab. Well, it's a good thing I can fly. Alright, we're gonna go over here. No, I didn't make the jump. <laughs> but it's fine, because I can control gravity. Where is she going? Oh, that way. Where are you going in all this trouble? What's she doing way out here? Is she looking for something? They say the killer always returns to the scene of the crime. Oh, hi. You there! Uh, y yes? What are you doing down there? What am I doing? Oh, well, I was just, uh, taking a stroll. Wait, aren't you the Gravity Queen? You know, we could really use your help. Someone in the area reported hearing yelling. Yelling? Where was it coming from? Right around here somewhere, but I haven't heard anything myself. Maybe it was a prank call. Hmm, a man yelling. Melda left! Maybe I should check around the area where she was looking. What's this? A letter? It's addressed to the madam from one... Pandora's Fortunes? It's kind of hard to read the writing. Uh, maybe the key to solving this case is in the letter? Now, I know I shouldn't open other people's mail, but this is a matter of life or death. A shining blade twinkling in the void. Soar on the ground like an eagle. Hands are are as feet when while you listen to the earth. Go to the root with the secret. Um, are these instructions from the fortune teller? The first three items are crossed out. That just leaves the fourth. Go to the root with the secret. If I want to get to the bottom of this, I have to find that secret before Melda does. Maybe I'll find something around the root of, roots of these trees. Okay, sorry, I got really disoriented there for a second. Uh, nothing here. Hello? Nothing here. Stuck in a tree. Oh, still nothing. Nope. Still nothing. Let's check these trees, maybe. Nothing here. Oh, nothing, nope, nope, nothing, nope, nothing, nope, nothing. Tree? Nope, nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing. Nope, nothing. Nothing here. Anything? Haven't I been to all the trees? Huh. Oh, the one spot I didn't look. Hey, this is part of the husband's manuscript. Maybe this was the secret the fortune teller wanted Melda to bury. I wonder what it says. She never understands me. Maybe she is better off without me. I saw her standing there one day, hovering over my bed, watching me sleep. 
with that cold stare and that knife glittering in her hand. Oh, wait, this isn't a manuscript. It's his diary. She did do it, didn't she? Oh, come on, cat. You gotta hold on to things better. The evidence is flying away. Come back. Oh, hi. Oh. Um. Hi. <laughs> he's the painting. He's the man from the painting in Melda's mansion. The suit, that beard, it's him, Melda's husband. He is alive, and I found him. Oh, great, <laughs> Nevi. Oh no. He's gone. And I was so close. The Nevi must have got him. I won't let them get away with this. How dare you steal a man? That's so rude. You are ruining an already um unstable relationship. And I will not stand for it. If that relationship lives or dies is not for the Nevi to decide. More Nevi. I'll make him pay. I need to go down further. Da 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 da! -on. Boom. No, ooh, hold on. I need to get one of those. And kaboom, and kaboom, and kaboom, and kabippity boppity boo. More Nebby. And away we go. Dang it. <laughs> I ran out of kick juice. Come on, you fools. You think you can beat me? There's more of them. Great. Come on! Show me what you got! Gotcha! Gotcha! And... Let's smash you to bits! Okay, or we could... Absolutely whiff! Gotcha. Perfect. Don't you dare. Gotcha. Come on. Make this quick for me, please. That's a miss. Key to combat in this game is kind of just being adaptable. Wait, what? Where are you? Where? What was that? Nope, other way. <laughs> ah! Hello. W what's going on here? He's not dead, is he? Um, excuse me. Oh, thank heavens. I was trying to get your attention while those monk when those monsters showed up, and I slipped and fell down here. You're Melda's husband, right? You're not a ghost, are you? Aren't you here with my rescue party? Wait, I recognize that uniform. Did Melda send you to find me? He doesn't sound like a ghost. Uh, let me just cut to the chase. Did you run away from Melda because she was trying to kill you? Uh, are all the things you wrote true? Oh, that old thing. I was just branching out. 
figured I'd try my hand at a suspense novel. Oh, wait, you thought my wife tried to... Uh, no, no, of course not. But she has been acting kind of funny. Going all over town doing weird things. Well, whatever it is you're thinking, you've got it all wrong. I just came down here looking for inspiration. But, well, I couldn't get back up. Maybe we should take, uh, take this talk topside. I'm a little nervous after that last fall. I still don't get why Melda was acting so funny. Uh, all right, let's go. Oh. Darling, oh, I thought I'd never see you again. Hooray! Oh, it's just like the fortune teller said. You were right here waiting for me. Melda, I'm so sorry to worry you. You came all the way out here looking for me. The police weren't going to do anything. They thought you ran away from me. I didn't know what to do, so I tried the fortune teller. So was all that funny business because of a fortune? I let my writing become the most important thing in my life. But nothing's more important than you. Ah! I'll never worry you again. I promise, from today I'll treat every moment together like it was our last. Let's travel the world, just the two of us. Isn't this, like, the extent of the world? But what about the mansion? I thought you didn't want to leave it, uh... I, I thought you didn't want to leave it, uh, wanted to leave the family. What's the point of point in living a trapped life? It's time to sell it and live our lives the way we want to live them, Melda. I love you. From now on, it'll just be the two of us. It's the start of a new life. Ah. How beautiful. Do we get? Do we still get paid? That's the first time I've ever seen her happy. Um, I should have known she wouldn't kill her husband. That's what I get for listening to rumors. Oh wait, if they sell the mansion, what happens to my job? Does this mean I'm fired? Oops. <laughs> I was starting to believe the scandalous rumors about Melda. Then I found her missing husband and reunited the couple. They agreed on the spot to embark on a new journey together. I wished them the best, but I still had a problem. I was out of the job. But that wouldn't last long. My next job, well, that's a story, another story for another time. All right. Da -da 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 okay, I think, is that it for that side quest? I think so, yes. So... <laughs> Now it's finally time to look for the old man. So next time, uh, look forward to that. But for now, that's it. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below. And maybe leave a like. And if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that's it. So see ya.